Welcome to your revision video for version 11.3 of the Battle Cats. Don't worry, it's not as in-depth as you might think. First of all, in Cats of the Cosmos, we have zombie outbreaks. Let's go gung-ho into one of the stages and see how we do. Oh, well, yeah, no, that's pretty easy. You can formally conclude from this that zombie outbreaks in Cats of the Cosmos 1 are pretty good. Speaking of zombies, the government have introduced Souls, a new initiative designed to expand the minds of learners and help them compete with the rest of the world on an educational level. But quite frankly, I have no idea what's going on, so let's move on. Next off, if you can find it, and that will be the difficult part on your test, there are now leaderships available to be found in the Cat Fortune Shrine. Simply get yourself a fortune and you might well get yourself a leadership however bad your final grade average may end up being. Students targeting top marks in this exam should quote from Gamma Toto, I have got 120 levels now, lol, new costume. Colossal or barren enemies are now available to be seen in the enemy encyclopedia. You must be able to recall at least three different perspectives on barren enemies. Try to look for one positive and reg its opinion. Also, you must be able to calculate the percentage talent improvement for Subterra Sentinels, BCS Tiger Claw, and Net 02 Air Citadel. These formulas will be given in the exam because no git knows what they are. Please remember that there are new Uncanny Legend stages, the 43rd subchapter where a new legend will appear. But don't worry, you don't need to know that at this level. Also. There are now a bumper crop of new user rank rewards. Only joking, please just look at the first three, as the second three are not part of this exam. Congratulations, you have passed version 11.3 of Battle Cats. To take the higher exam, please tune in next time for version 11.4. Good luck.